There are so many different ways that you can paint glass to give it a completely different look. I'm the Crafty Blog Stalker, and today I'm going to show you how to take a simple glass votive and turn it into a beautiful glitter painted votive that you can put on any tablescape, any centerpiece that will quickly become the center of attention. It's got a glitter inside and a white ceramic outside. I don't need a lot of supplies for my painted glitter votives. I've got some Mod Podge, some Gesso, some metallic red acrylic paint, some red glitter, and then of course my glass votive. Now this technique could really work on any type of glass vase or jar or anything that you want to create for some beautiful home decor. I've also got a paintbrush, a wood stick for stirring, and a sponge as well. I'm gonna start by bringing in some scratch paper to protect my surface and my plastic cup and wood stick to create my mixture. And I'm gonna start just by taking this Mod Podge and pouring a little bit into the cup. Then I'm gonna take my glitter and put some in there. Now I'm not measuring, I'm just completely eyeballing. Okay, I like how that looks. I think that's a good consistency. So I'm gonna grab my little votive and a paintbrush. Now I think the easiest way to do this is to turn the votive upside down and you're gonna take your paintbrush and just paint the glitter on. So my first layer is dry for the most part. You can tell because uh, it's no longer white. I've got a couple wet spots there um, that are still a little bit white, but for the most part I'm dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my next layer. Now I don't know exactly how many layers this is going to take, but I will keep you posted as to the number of layers that I do. But I really just want to cover the entire jar with glitter. So it's gonna take several coats. All of my layers of glitter and Mod Podge have dried. This is about seven layers and I let it dry about 10 minutes between each layer. You can see that it's, uh, the glitter there is pretty solid, but I'm actually going to bring in my metallic red now and I'm gonna put a couple coats of that on to, um, to fill in those gaps as well. I've applied two coats of the metallic red to the outside of the votive holder, and now I'm going to do a couple coats of the gesso. Now the gesso is for canvas. It's like a canvas prepper, and it's super thick, and it is going to completely cover the red, and it will also get, once it's dried, it will almost give the appearance of ceramic. So I've applied two layers of the white gesso, and you can see the red inside there. Now I want to give the outside of my jar just a little bit of texture. So I've got a cut up sponge here, and I'm gonna dab that in the gesso, and just kind of sponge the outside of this. My layers of gesso are all dry and I absolutely love the texture that this votive has. So next I'm going to turn it over and I want to add some white around here at the top to kind of hide um, this edge and to give it a more finished look. So I've got a thinner brush and I'm just gonna paint right around that top edge. When the top ring is completely dry, then your votive is completely finished. I'm gonna move that out of the way. And you can just see what a beautiful votive holder that is. You can see the red sparkle there behind. And then all that's left is to grab a votive candle, drop that in there, get a match. I'm gonna light that. And that candle is just beautiful. You can see that glowing reflection on the side of the glass with that, that red glitter. It really is so pretty. Even I am amazed at how beautiful these glitter painted votives turned out. I love the final result. And I love that you can actually see 
the the reflection of the flame inside the votive on that sparkly red. They really are just beautiful. So I want to thank you for joining me today and learning how to make these beautiful glitter painted votives. While you're here, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I try to do a tutorial video about once a week, so you definitely don't want to miss out. And you can also always find me at my home base at thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks everyone. Bye.